Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're making some dragon weights. That's way faster than what you're doing. So stick around. Today's DIY is about some dragon weights that I just found out about that's way faster to make than what I've been doing. I was told about these weights by another YouTuber that has a channel called New School Fishing. If you're interested in catching big fish, then go check him out because he catches big fish. He's got reviews on some awesome products and he has a lot of tutorials that'll make you a better fisherman. So go over, check his channel out and click subscribe because I'm going to get him to do a video on how he uses this weight that we're fixing to make. I've got some other videos on how to make slinky weights or dragon weights that you can go check out, but today's dragon weights are just really fast to make. My friend was telling me about them and I wanted to make some and as a matter of fact, I think he's here. What's up? What's up, man? I, you can't wear that in here. Really? Yeah, here. <laughs> now you look good. All right, JR, tell us about these. DIY slinky weights you was telling me about. Okay, I first heard about these. Actually, I saw them on a, a YouTube channel. The guy's name's Down River Fishing. Go check him out. Okay, the thing I like about this these rigs is you can bend this lead, this solid core lead, however you want. You can manipulate it into a half moon like that, like you see most of your uh, like drifting sticks or pencil weights. They'll have them bent. And it helps you, it helps to, for it to go over brush and, and things better as you're dragging. All he does is take the solid core lead, shrink tube, and a swivel. Well, show us how to make one right fast. What you're going to do is you're going to take your solid core lead, you're going to measure out about six and a half inches, and then you just clip it right at six and a half inches. The reason you want to cut it at six and a half inches is because that's the length required to get about two ounces. Dang, that's dead on. You want to take your solid core lead, start it in the shrink tube, push it on. You want to leave about the length of the swivel on this end. And then we just cut. And now you want to take your swivel, stick it in the end. You want just the eye sticking out, just like that. Now you take your heat gun. Whether you're on your way to the lake or if you're on the lake going from spot to spot, a lot of times your weights when you're underway will be slamming against your rod. And some guys don't like their rods getting scratched up by their weights. So one way that you can do these solid core lead weights, with the solid core DIY weight, you can just take and wrap it around your rod. And it's not going anywhere. That's pretty cool right there. The way that I've found I like the best is to actually just hammer the end, pop a hole in it, put you a snap swivel on it, and you can attach it to your three-way or you can just attach it to your barrel swivel. One way is to flatten the end. Do that by putting it in a vise. Another way is to just tap it with a hammer. Then take a punch or a finishing nail and just pop a hole in it. All you have to do now is run your snap swivel through the hole. Now I like slinky weights. 
And I got a video that you can go check out of me making slinky weights. And I use these round gamo lead pellets. And I use split shots. All you do is take paracore and you put the lead down in it. And you make slinky weights out of it. Basically the same thing we're doing here for trolling. Well, I really like these things, but they take forever to make. But watching JR with his new DIY weight gave me an idea. I picked up his 3 8 diamond braid rope from Harbor Freight. And anytime you can use a rope for a slinky weight, you can look at the end and see if it's got a filler in it. Because you can pull the filler out. But I'm thinking that if we cut this up into little pieces, we can make it kind of like a slinky weight. What do you think? I think that would work. Make sure you cut enough rope. You're gonna to wanna to grab that filler and pull it out. That's another good thing about buying the 3 8 paracord is you can scrunch it. Make sure you seal the one end of it. And then just pinch it with the pliers. Now you wanna take your your solid core lead that you've cut into sections and you just want to scrunch your paracord and it'll fall right down in there. Okay, after you get all your weight in, you just cut the end. Heat it. Mash it with the pliers. What we like to do is take a finishing nail and heat it up and just push it right down through the paracord where you mashed it closed earlier. It goes through like butter. Now you have a hole for your snap swivel. Now you just clip it on your rod and you're ready to go. I had a video I did about making balsa corks. But anyway, if you use a regular float cork or any kind of cork, a little trick I like to do is uh, I cut a little slit in it. You don't have to use a bandsaw. You can use a hacksaw if you want to, but you cut a little slit in it. Sometimes I want anchor fish, sometimes I want a troll, but if you want a troll, you can just pop your float on now, put your peg in it, and you can troll. Another tip with these peg floats is if you ever lose your stopper, you can replace it with a swivel. Just push your swivel down in there and it'll actually act as a stopper. And not only that, it also turns it into a, a rattling cork. I learned that from Lee Huffman of Huffy's Guide Service. How often do you troll? When I'm in my kayak, I'm trolling 90% of the time. When I'm in my boat, I'm usually anchoring probably 75% of the time. Well, I like to troll, but I like to anchor too. But you know, in that YouTube tournament me and you did together, I was one of the only people trolling that day and it paid off. I really like this solid core wire. There's tons of different ways you can use it. I'll put the Amazon link in the description box below so you'll know where you can go and buy some. This was an awesome DIY. And if you like DIYs, go check out my channel page. I have a long list of DIYs that'll help you save some money. And if you like it, click subscribe. Click the bell so YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. Hold on a minute. See you on the next build, guys. <laughs>